What does a bad haircut and dental implants have in common? So let's just say you get a bad haircut, all right? So one that you didn't really expect to have happen. Well, in all actuality, all you have to do is wait, right? If you wait, you let the hair grow, the hair grows back and then, and then you fix it, right? So you just have to wait. And it's the same thing with dental implants. And this is a really good way to kind of look at dental implants for people that really stress out about them. And what I mean by this is this. If you are doing treatment on a tooth, let's say, for instance, a root canal therapy, and, and somehow it goes terribly wrong and, and, and you, you perf right through the wall or something of the tooth and you destroy the tooth, okay? Let's just say it's just, it just goes terribly wrong and you lose a tooth. There's no coming back from that. You, you, you currently do not have the power of God to create a new tooth, okay? So at that point, you've, you've, you've done damage and our, our motto is do no damage, right? Do no harm is our motto in, in dentistry. And so then you, if you take that same pressure that you have when you're doing a surgery on a, on a live tooth and you apply those same principles to a dental implant, you may be carrying more stress in your daily life. So let me explain. If a dental implant does not integrate, so you place a dental implant and the dental implant doesn't integrate and you catch it early before, you know, before it gets really, really bad and you retrieve the dental implant, you can replace the dental implant. There's millions of dental implants, sterilized, clean, ready to go, sitting on the shelf. So what I encourage doctors to do is not to carry the same level of stress and also not to deliver that same kind of pressure to the patient. You know, so the patients are, are going to be, ter you know, they're going to be upset. They're going to go, what happened? Why didn't it integrate? And you got to talk about that. that. That makes a lot of sense. But at the end of the day, all you got to do is wait a little bit, let the site heal and do it again. So it's kind of like getting a bad haircut. You get a bad haircut, you just wait. If you have an implant that doesn't integrate, sure. It extends the overall project time. So the time that it takes to, from the beginning to the point where you actually have a functional tooth, that gets extended, but you can replace it, unlike a natural tooth, which you don't have the ability to do. This has been another episode of Implants Made Simple. I'm Dr. Robert Stanley. Follow for more.